Welcome back to the Living in St. George, Utah channel. I am Courtney and I'm Sue. And we're part of the number one relocation team here in St. George, Utah. And now today, we are going to talk about a huge event that happens here every year in St. George. And we're standing in front of the Red Cliffs Mall, our you know tiny little mall that we have here. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk about the St. George Parade of Homes. Now, Sue. Yes. I come from a place where there's like very little new construction, so Sean and I were both kind of confused. We're like, what does this even mean? So what is the Parade of Homes? Parade of Homes is where builders in the area showcase their masterpieces. It is a fun activity here in St. George. It kicks off on the 17th, this President's Way weekend, and then it goes till the 26th. And it's 10 days where you can see 30 homes. It's a fun event. You can bring the whole family. Yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, HGTV, like how housing porn, basically. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, that that might be a California thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, it's so fun and it's great. Be mindful though, three and older has to purchase the tickets and it's $20 per ticket. Okay. Yes. But yeah, it's just so fun. It showcases everything that's trending, new colors, a lot of things, designers, local designers. Yeah, it's just a great time to just kind of be in the sun and just looking around the area. So one of the questions that, you know, someone might have if they're going to the Parade of Homes is, you know, how do you purchase these homes? And since Sue and I, we are both realtors here in the state of Utah, we're both licensed realtors, is it a good idea for somebody to work directly with the builder or why would someone want to work with an agent? Oh, absolutely, you'd want to work with an agent. You want to make sure that your interests and, and your terms are negotiated, and we can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, people sometimes think, you know, when you work directly with the builder, that the builder is looking out for you. The builder is looking out, like the contract is written for them, right? And even if you're working with the builder's agent, like that agent gets paid for by the builder. So you always want to make sure that you are, you know, being represented by someone who has your best interests in their mind. So that's why definitely reach out to Sue and I and we can help you find that perfect dream home for you. And we can negotiate the price too, and especially so the terms. Let's say, for example, you have timing issues. We can do that. We'll write that in the contract. So we help you make that contract for you. We personalize that contract to you, and hopefully we can get a meeting of the minds, and you'll be in your beautiful home. So another question people have is, you know, how do you buy tickets? And that's probably why one of the reasons why we're standing here at the Red Cliffs Mall. So how do you, how do you buy tickets? You buy tickets either online, paradehomes.com. You can purchase them online, or you can come to Red Cliffs Mall here, and they have them inside, and they have a display. So come inside here, and then they'll give you a book. If you purchase them online, you can get a book at the home. Whatever first home you want to be at, you can get a book at the home. Uh, be mindful, sometimes they do run out, just be patient. And if you do, do get a book here, it'll have all the addresses and yes, and they'll give you a lanyard and they will give you a QR code on your ticket. So you can go to any of those homes mm -hmm. on your ticket and there's plenty of them. <laughs> there's a construction going, as, as there's always construction going on in St. George, there's construction going on in the mall right now, so. Our mall is being renovated. Yes. So yes. it's going to be more of an outdoor mall and more of a gathering place. So there's going to be lots and more food restaurants here. Yes, it's going to be a great, great mall. So mm -hmm. if you've been here in the past, it's going to look like nothing you've seen. It's, it's going to look different from what you've been to. So we had to move locations because, like we were saying, it's never-ending construction here in St. George. So before we go on though, so if you can't make it to the Parade of Homes this year, subscribe to this channel because Sean and I, our plans are that we're gonna go to all 30 homes and then show them on this channel. However this works out in practice, we do not know, <laughs> but we will be showcasing at least some of the homes so you can get an idea of you know what is here uh, in the St. George region. So subscribe to the channel because that will be coming up you know as soon as the actual Parade of Homes comes here to Utah. So then getting back to the homes, like um, are all of these homes like super high end or is there some that are you know more like middle of the road or how does it work? There is a range, there is a range. And in fact, I was looking earlier today and there's one for I think 525. Mm -hmm. So a good range. And then there's those uber expensive ones that are in the 5 million range. Yeah. But there's still plenty of homes in that 500 range and 
that are existing already. So if you want to buy a home, let us know. Yes, definitely reach out to us and we can help you find, you know, that perfect home. So I was Googling the Parade of Homes and I did notice that like Marie Osmond had a house. She did. Yeah, so what was going on? Because that wasn't for sale. So like what, what was that exactly? My thought is sometimes the builders give the um, homeowners an extreme discount in order to show the home through the parade home. So maybe that's what happened. That's my guess. But yeah, she did have a home. And there's been a couple of other celebrities and there might be one this time too. Ooh, so. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, because yeah. there's, there's a lot of people that, you know, like a lot of Vegas money here basically. So they have homes here, even though they're kind of like the Vegas celebrities. So yeah, that's kind of how it works here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you've been you, you've been going to the Parade of Homes for years and years and years. Do you have like a favorite that you ever saw? Uh, once they had this home in the ledges and it was beautiful. And I want to say that it was probably 2006, and that's always been on my mind. It was gorgeous. It was our views here are spectacular, mm -hmm. and it looked out on on a snow canyon. So that's mm. why I loved it so much. Um, aside from it was beautiful inside, great design. It was just beautiful. So that yeah. was mine. Oh, cool. And we, Sue and I, we actually did a video about the ledges. Um, we'll put it at the end of this video, so stay to the end and we'll link to it. But the ledges, it's kind of this community. It's kind of a little bit farther north from the center of town. Beautiful golf course community right next to Snow Canyon State Park. And in terms of that, so like all the homes that are in the Parade of Homes, is it all like City of St. George or is it all over the region? It's all over Washington County. Yes. Okay. Yes. And where, what's the farthest that you've seen before? Well, I want to say ledges. Uh, there's quite a few in Hurricane this year. Okay. So it's probably, I would say, about a half an hour outside center of town is half hour driving time is where the homes are scattered about. And before we go on, um, comment down below if you are coming here to the Parade of Homes, where are you coming from? I know uh, Parade of Homes, there's a big one up in Salt Lake City as well, and we, I know we get a lot of people moving down from Salt Lake City. So if you're coming from Salt Lake City, comment down below, or maybe you're coming from someplace even colder. Uh, a lot of Idaho people move, end up moving out here, Montana, Wyoming. So where are you coming from? And then before you know, we sign off, just to reiterate, if you are thinking about buying a home here in St. George, um, whether that's new construction or a home that's been you know, built 20 years ago, definitely reach out to us. And then do you want to just like reiterate why it's important to work with an agent when you are buying new construction? Oh, absolutely. Again, you want to make sure that somebody's negotiating your side of the contract and making sure that everything's crossed and putting an eye on the T's. Yeah, putting an eye, yeah. T on the eyes, eyes <laughs> in the T's. Yeah. But yes, you want to make sure that somebody's representing you. Yes, okay.